Ich gehöre längst nicht mehr zur Welt der Sterblichen. Ich fürchte hier nichts und niemand. Willst du wissen, wer ich bin? Ich bin Vegeta! Here, back here once again. Ace entire video. How strong would veteran Wally truly be? Now, arguably, Wally or Willie, however you want to call him, is Reddit's most hated character. If you go to that Reddit, he, he is despised over there. In my opinion, I like Wally. He's a perfect example of what happens when you have overwhelming great talent and eventually you're going to lose the hard work and experience. It is, it is what it is. And the fact that Wally was so green. The fact that Wally was just pretty much using his natural talent all throughout the Epo fight, and the way he just, when Epo started to get low, he's like, that's pretty low. Blam! Hit him with a mixture of smash right in his chinny chin chin. It was just amazing. And the fact that Wally was still learning is also just excellently remarkable. The fact that some might say he's a broken character. I say you just need to be good enough to beat him. Some might say, oh, if, if Wally had a few years on him, could Epo beat him? I say yes. Especially that Epo that went against Gonzalez. I say yes, but eh, who knows? But in this case, he got, yeah, yeah, the title of the video. Because if you see how, if you see that Wally fight with Epo, it was like, oh, Wally only had three fights. Even though he's the, in the, in the even though he's the Indo, uh, Indo, a, <laughs> that country's name, Indo Ages champion. I think I said it wrong. Indo, ugh, I don't, I don't butcher to get, uh, uh, the Indo Age uh, champion. He's just like you only have three feet. I don't see how you he gonna have even have a chance against Epo. Come on, Fuji. You know you really are. I was I was <laughs> I was expecting you to be over enthusiastic for Epo fights. <laughs> and she gave him that look. Mari gave Fuji that look like she's gonna kill him or something. What do you, what do you do? It's a fact. In this case, how strong would a veteran Wally truly be? Arguably, he could be one of the strongest characters in the cities. Easily pound for pound. And that would be an excellent matchup a veteran Will Wally against uh, Ricardo Martinez. Because we have never seen Martinez go against somebody with a freedom style. At all. We've seen the AJ Dantes, we've seen the Billy McCullums, and we've seen the Freddy Gonzalez and a guy who gets one shotted. And that's pretty much it. We ever seen like a Fred, uh, <laughs> uh, Ricardo Martinez go against any like freedom style users like a Bryant Hawk or like a Wooly, so it would be an interesting fight to see how he would deal with it. Will he just use the devil jab technique the same as Takamura? Will he have some type of personal technique of his own? Because he is called the Il Diablo in Mexico. Besides, that's a, how do you get na How do people call you the devil in boxing? How does that happen? How does that happen? It is what it is. If I main so the fact that Wallet was so green, the fact that Wallet wasn't even intimating his block or his feints like he could have. I mean, they, they'll make Wally broken. If people would have had their appropriate fight footage to properly study Wally, then it wouldn't be as hard to fight him as they found that it would be. And even then, even then, I believe he, he would have still lost Epo for one simple reason. The fact that him and Miguel Hale were not paying attention to what type of impact the body blows would have on Wally. But even then, that's just an example of how inexperienced Wally is. But... Is it for that Wooly and Miguel Zell did not know what was happening, even though he clearly saw Wooly taking hits to the stomach. So it'd be one of those things that Wooly had to figure out with more experience. And he and he's still green. When I say veteran Wooly, I'm like thinking about like a 23 and a, zero, a 23 and one type of Wooly. This this is a Wooly who have been through some wars. Like you seen the thumbnail, he looks like a beast with that goatee. I don't know why he looks like a beast. But I think yeah, he's be uh, really strong, really strong. Cause like this is a Wooly, he doesn't even know how to use counters, don't know how to use the appropriate blocks. So he wouldn't know how to get through the cross arm block he would have against Epo and other things. Just for that, somebody say he will be broken. Wooly is just basically a certain degree, a more calm down and focused version of Brian Hawk, pretty much. If Brian Hawk would have chose to train, he would end up being like Wooly. But he chose not to, and he chose not to learn anything from Miguel Zell, and he just agreed to get the license to kill, and that's it. So it is what it is with Brian Hawk. He, he chose, like, like he made the bed he slept in. But for Wooly, it's different. 17 years old, he should be like at least like around 21 now. We don't know how many fights he's had since then. And which out of all the former Epo opponents, want to catch up on, I say Wooly would be the most interesting. Because of all that unknown potential in Wooly, and if he was to refine and beat and and 
and hammer down that natural talent into a refined boxing IQ style. The man would be nearly unstoppable. Literally, unstoppable. You not only know how to get on a corner, you know how to properly block, know how to properly counter, know how to tame his shots, know how to tear into somebody and stop. And then he finally realized that bloody blows will eventually sh slow him down. And when you equivalent like all those type of things with Wooly, it's just like, if you were to learn such things, the man would be broken. Like without a doubt, he'll be broken. Nearly unstoppable. And the reason I say nearly is because nobody's unbeatable. Because I believe that Mark Ricardo Martinez potentially in his 60 fights would have accounted somebody like him. So that's why I want to say, oh, he would be unbeatable. I wouldn't say that. I would say 10 strongest hydrogen epoch characters to date. Just like that. It, it, just for him actually learn. Just Let's just say he just learns the basics. Learn the jab. And all that is just like even then he'll still be ridiculously strong for his age. He pretty much is the Miata on steroids of his generation. Ten times better than the guy could ever could wish to be. And have like all the reflexes and, and the technique of Miata. He just don't have the counters. He got the footwork it's like it's the Gake, and he has the, the potential counters and speed as the Gake. The Wool is a beast, he's nearly unstoppable. And that's the whole reason I made the whole video about oh it's the Gake was to fight. Uh, Wooly and the reason I kept on saying I didn't know because Wooly if he was to fight Itagake later on Itagake has pretty much nearly no chances of winning unless he just gonna go straight for body blows Or he picks up some type of plans like Amai did to him and just trap him in the corner Turn into a mixture of Kimura throw away your natural body boxing style Which it makes sense since Wooly is faster than, he, uh, than, than Itagake in my opinion with footwork and hand speed, he's faster, and he's better. I don't care what anybody. Says. I, don't, I don't think he's he's as fast. Is it? I haven't reread the entire fight, but I don't believe he is as fast. But he do got some quick hands, some quick hands. Like, even if we say it's a guy Kim Wooly was at the same speed, that's still that's still impressive. That's still impressively fast for Wooly. Not only with his excellent footwork and the fact that you can't trap this man in the corner. I'm like with Itagaki, you can't trap Wooly in the corner. That's that's where he's best. That's where Wooly lives in the corner. So that's easily Wooly is top five strongest cats in the series. Like if he was to get the proper experience, you know, the proper boxing techniques, and be able to properly put together his punches and combinations, learn how to block lure, have a decent, well strong guard, continue to focus on that excellent freedom hand movement he got, and that footwork. Well he's pretty much a stop. You seen the way he literally slid on an Epo punch and hit, like and hit him with some type of uppercut straight left. And he was just you don't you don't do that to somebody. That's that's just wrong. That's that's messed up. Just being on evil like a piata. I don't see why people personally hate that fight at all because it's no different from how Epo getting beaten up like a piata by Michael or anybody else, especially against for Fredo Gonzalez. But I guess when Wooly does it, because he had three fights, so it's to make a difference. All right then. It's not like we haven't seen boxers like this before. You know, just natural talent before. Now the cool effect that Wally was still training. Brian Hawk had no training, became world champion, but somehow Wally is on that Shonen stuff, but Brian Hawk is not, and he never trained in a day in his life. It is what it is. But I say Wally has 10 times more potential that Brian Hawk ever could, because he's more tame, he's more calm, and he's just like he really loved the sport of boxing compared to Brian, he was just using it as a way to get himself out of the hood, out of the slums, and then when he made it to the top, he just really just didn't do anything. He didn't really care for the sport. It was a cheap excuse for him to use outright violence on somebody and mutilate and violate somebody. But Wally, he loves the sport. He's interested in it. And he, uh, he wants to take it as far as he can. He is Miguel Zale's last son. The son that he's been waiting for. He finally found his Ipo Makanuchi after all these years. After all these years. And also, a little side note. Now I think about it. Who was training Takamura? Uh, uh, who was Coach Kyogam training before Takamura showed up? I don't think we ever get an answer that. I think, okay, like, was it shown that he used to train like Shinoda and like uh, Fuji for like a period of time? And then, now, I don't know if it was Coach Kogam who trained him personally or not. I can't recall. I, I, I haven't thought about it. who was Coach Kogam training before Takamura showed up. But uh, yeah, who was, he was personally training before Takamura showed up? That's just, oh, he was just some guy at the gym, just personally, as he do with Takamura and Nepo. 
since you know since Shinoda had the other two guys like Aoki, Itagake, and Kimura. Which I don't see why people want to say it's Shinoda is a bad coach when he's not, but it's what it is on that. But overall, I say Wallace is in good hands, and not including the fact that doing this early rate, he could have just technically, I believe personally, to a certain degree. If Miguel Zell would never throw in the towel, I believe that that last hit Epo got against Wally, Wally potentially would have got back up. He would have still lost, of course, but I think he would have got hit like a good three more times when he went down. And somebody say, "Oh, hey, why would you say that?" If that wasn't the case, then Miguel Zell, besides from him not wanting his last time to get hurt, he would never threw in the towel if he knew that Wally, Wally would never be able to take it. Because if Wallace just would have slumped down and would have been over, then there would be no need to throw in the towel. Unless he believed that Wallace could potentially got back up at the count of 10. At the age of 17, the potential is unreal. And then, what makes it even better is, people hate Wally, but Rocket Balboa going 12 rounds with the heavyweight champion, that's alright. Skill either. At least Wally has natural talent, but it is what it is now. I like Rocky, but it's just... I don't like when people pick and choose and like to play the favoritism game. And it's just like, oh, my person can do that. It's bad when you do it. Uh, outdid it. Just tribalism savages. But uh, overall, I say like a veteran Wally would be one of the strongest characters. Easily. Easily. Without a doubt. Top 10. And the most interesting fight that will be made is that Wally would experience at least with 23 fights. Whether he win, loss, or draw. 23 fights against Ricardo Martinez. Will he be able to give Martinez a run for his money? Because remember. Ricardo Martinez's true style we have not seen yet. Like Alfredo Gonzalez has hinted towards that. Oh. You know. He's, he's not as common. He's look. He got like a savage side. And as soon as he switches to the other side. You're done for. Usually Gonzalez goes down immediately. That's why I said constantly. There, no matter how like Gonzalez is going to con 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 uh, combine his mixer mode with his b regular boxing. He wasn't going to do any good against Martinez because it, it, it wasn't. And like quote of fact, he just unlocked this and, and like some other factors and things, and things like that. But Walla against Ricardo Martinez, Walla with some experience, with some proper boxing techniques, especially from Miguel Hale, who's like a popular trainer. But we don't know how many boxes Miguel Hale has trained. That's the only thing. But, uh, hey. Who knows? Who knows how many people he's... It's so much like Bill Stewart. It's like another people. Bill Stewart got uh, Ricardo Martinez, but he's a world-renowned trainer. But people question Miguel Zelda, though, but uh, it is what it is. But with that, I believe that he's in good hands, but I don't see how he would actually fight Ricardo Martinez. I just don't. It's just the fact that we don't know what level cap Wooly actually has. You know, like, like any usual outboxer who got fast hands and fast footwork, you hit him to the body, and eventually you will ground him perfectly. And surprisingly, even while grounded, he was still putting up a decent fight against Epo, surprisingly. It's just taking those full-on power punches like it's nothing. You, you can give it to him. He was losing the fight. He was losing the exchange. But you gotta give it to Wally. He is a brave one. One with three fights on his belt. He, he is a brave son of the gun. Not cool in the fact he was able to get that lick on Vorg. So much potential. So much potential. And some might say, it's been three fights. It, it ain't right. Epo is a world ranking, this and that. Three fights, eh? Three fights. Alright, let's, let's use a real world example. You got guys like Devin Haney, Timofimo Lopez, and Javante Davis, who are... Timofimo Lopez beat Fisilla Machinko for the... On the uh, what technically is officially undisputed lightweight champion at 16 fights. Similar to Anthony Joshua, who got his belts around like 15, 16 fights. But somehow it's unbelievable that Wally can do it, even though you got people like Tyson Fury at 30 fights, Wilder at 40 fights, Anthony Joshua is only at 23. Well, like 23, 24. 23, 24, yeah. No, it's at 24, he lost the end of these. At 24, so. I don't see how it's so unbelievable that Wally can be this strong. Not including the fact that this is the same Epo he was struggling against like a 40 to 50 year old man. And kept falling for the old, same old tricks because he was unexperienced. Similar to Wally against Epo. Fell for them same tricks. Even though he should have won, fell for the same tricks. I don't believe Wally should have won against Epo. He, 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 
Wally lost fair and square. Just did not have the correct box and IQ or anything. He's, he, he, he was too green. He was too green to go against Epo. He was too early to throw him to that fight, but Miguel Zell had the most confidence. Was this kind of messed up? Because I don't think he has known too much about Epo to try to use Epo as somebody that, oh, I can use this, for, and, and I can go against Epo and say, oh, he's be able to build up his box and IQ. That was a beyond terrible idea. That was not going to work. I guess Miguel Zell didn't do his proper homework. To throw him in there, throw him in there with somebody like Epo. I don't think Miguel Zell did his proper handwork. Like at least throw him in there with somebody, like somebody else. But, but not not Epo. Like throw him in there with a mile. It's a god case, somebody. You just gotta throw him right into the deep end. Then you gotta throw in a towel to save his life. It's hey, hey, you started this. You started this. <sighs> but hey. Maybe this is all just personal opinions, but I personally believe that Wally is potentially one. If he keeps his career on track, and he don't go down the road like a Brian Hawk or Hayami. Easily top five strongest characters in the Philoid class, and just characters, period. Because that's, that's, some, that's some true talent right there. Similar to like Hayami, Itagake, and who else? It was, it was like some other characters. You got some. Oh, yeah, also Miyata. Some other characters with some fantastic natural talent. Fantastic natural talent. Just the fact that it's a guy who needs to stop acting like he's trying to be Epo 2.5 and will focus on his own style. And, uh, Japanese Championship again. I don't know. It's just. It lets you take some time off, rethink about his career, and then go back in there and, and box the proper way. And just make sure you get all that accumulated damage out of something like Epo. Then I say Ayami can ri rise to the ranks and do it right this time. But until then, Hayami's just, uh, is just going to be punching back. That's it. And it's kind of sad. I doubt Wally's going to end up anything like Wally. Like, like, uh, Hayami. So, I got high hopes. I hope Wally can return to fight somebody else. Because in my opinion, just, if you're throwing, like, Dasuke wannabe, like, Dasuke wannabe, uh, ha uh, a Mai, it's a Gake, or, who was the other one? Who was the other one? Oh yeah, or Hoshi. You throw those guys in there with Wally, they're getting killed. Every one of them. Every one. I, I don't care how much props I was giving of my like in the previous video. He's getting murdered. All of them. Like that strategy cannot work on Wally because he's, he's an anti-corner machine. You can't do it. And I'm pretty sure by that point, depending on what Wally record is, he would have been learned his lesson about just taking any type of body blows. So that make it even more impossible. I mean, it's a, it makes for an interesting outfight with Itagake, but I don't think Itagake got the same endurance as Wally, though. I don't think so. Sure, he didn't take that many punches from Epo either, but he was he was getting beaten, and he, he was still standing up. You can give him that. So it's just eh, eh, eh. overall. Let's sum up the overall video. Like I've said multiple times throughout this entire video, as I go straight back to the basic point, how strong would a veteran Wally would be? Easily top five characters. <sighs> Never understand why people hate the character at all, but it, it is what it is. It is. Maybe that whole similar to Malage, how I feel like, oh, I want to see Epo return. I want to see Epo return. I want to see Epo return. It's called First Step. It is not called the Epo Show. If you want that, there is Dragon Ball, there is Naruto, and there is One Piece. So if you just want to see it, just about one singular character all the time, just, there, there are some things for you. Because not like we have a cutaway from Epo being in the fight multiple times. A lot of chapters, but hey, this is what it is. And also, on the next video, that whole Epo retiring thing, I, I guess I'm missing thoughts on that. Like the video, like immediately after this. But overall, with the whole Wally, I believe he's he'll be broken, especially with that mixture. Sm like think about the, the amount of punches. If Wally's able to lean back, freedom style punches that Brian Hawk was doing, and with the proper box knock cue, and able to set up his combinations and punches when he needs to, and how to use the proper footwork to get around. Like seriously, do you understand? Wally got too many tools. He has too many opportunities to win. Like seriously, there's too many of. There's, there's, a, there's like no way, no way that would the wallet would have bought proper IQ. Anybody that's not on Miata, Sendos, 
or Epo's or Mishiba's level can take Wally. That's not happening. That's not going to happen. Especially when you get that proper experience. Especially. Not cool in the fact that he, he already taken on high caliber opposition already. Come on, Sonny. That's not happening. That's not happening. But like, like, good luck with that. Like, seriously. You're, you're not beating Wally at that point. You're getting murdered. That's what you get. Some brain damage. But overall, yeah, you, 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 you're not beating Wally, in my opinion. That's, that's not happening. You could, you could try, but uh, it is what it is. But yeah, I believe that uh, a veteran season properly trained Wally is, will be broken. I doubt most characters will be able to beat him. He'll just be that, that strong. Just easily just that strong. Just just that strong. And uh, I hope we get to see Wally again. See how his career turned out. Because eventually I believe that he wants to fight somebody else inside the series. In my personal opinion. It's not guaranteed. It's not confirmed. It is not anything. All I'm saying is he's going to have to, in my opinion, fight somebody else. Because it's just like he got too much potential. Too much potential just to let that all go. In my opinion. So it's just, I believe it's fight somebody. But yeah, be me sure. Okay, you guys like the video. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, peace. <laughs> and what do you got? How strong do you think Wallow would be at his full potential? Be me shockwave king and uh, peace.